it's me, your girl, LL. So I have my little braided wig on, and um, I just want to show y'all real quick. I'm going to try to kind of um, revamp this unit. This is one of my favorite wigs, y'all. Um, in the back, it was sort of like getting a little nappy and tangled up, and it wasn't like the waves were not, you know, as strong, you know. They didn't stand out as much. And so we're going to try to re dip and see what happens. We're going to do one and hopefully it's not a fail. Let's see. So, y'all, I have this, um, this like towel, this big towel around my neck so I don't burn myself. I have four plaits total, two in the back and then um, two in the front. See, as you can see, they're not even that thick once you braid all the hair. And then I have this big cup right here of hot water. It's nice and hot. I don't know if you can pick up the steam, but I'm going to try one. So let's hope this goes well. So I basically make sure that I'm covered and I won't burn like my chest or anything like that. And I'm going to take the first one here and just dip the entire. I'm going to kind of emerge that full plait into the water. And I'm going to sit there for just a bit. And you have to be very careful. If you can, you can have someone help you do this. But now I'm going to go ahead and do this here. So that I will not burn my forehead. And I'm slowly going to back away and allow the braid to fall into the towel. Just like if you were, um, if you had some individual braids that you had in your head. I'm just kind of trying that technique and see if it will work. And it actually could be a way of cleaning the unit too, you know, getting some of that dirt out if you've had your unit for a while and it might be a little dirty. And then since I have this towel here, I'm going to do the back. This is this hair is mostly loose. It's not like braided in individual braids. It's mostly loose hair. So I really don't know what's going to happen with this hair. Y'all, this is really informal because I wasn't planning on doing this. It's pretty hot. I'm going to move that that way. I'm going to pull this up here to protect my face and ear. And pull back. And make sure that I squeeze so that Hot water won't drip on me, and I'm going to kind of hold my towel up a little bit. It'll be a little hot right here. So let's see what happened with the first one. Not too bad. Okay, so I'm going to reheat my water. And I'm going to go ahead and take down. Ooh, piece of hair. I'm going to go ahead and take down this one. Not bad, y'all. Has a little bit of more crinkle to it. Look at that. All right. Okay, so I went on and pulled my towel over to my right side now, and I'm going to go ahead and let me kind of make sure that you have it planted all the way to the end. So braid, braid, braid. Started coming loose a little bit there. Okay. Let's dip. And you have to use a cup that won't melt or, you know, a microwave safe cup or if you, you can heat your water up in a pot and use a pot. But I don't really like putting hair in my pots. I usually dedicate a certain cup to things like this because I won't drink 
you know, out of it or allow anybody else to drink out of it, even though I clean it after the fact. Well, I think that's been long enough. I'm nice and hot. Look at that steam. So I'm going to protect my ear and protect my face by bringing the towel up and I'm going to back away from the cup. And that helps you not bump into it and knock it over because you don't want that. But once again, if you have someone that can help you, it's even better. But I've been doing this for a long time. I used to pretty much braid my own hair in individuals and I would dip. I like that crinkly look. I love that look. Like my favorite way to wear my individual braids is like crinkly. I like it wavy. Okay, so this one's already braided down. So we're going to dip it and be careful not to get your ear in there. I can feel the steam. It's not burning me, but that's how I know my water is hot enough. Your water must be hot enough. I heated up my water for like, um, how long? Like only two minutes or three minutes, something of that nature. It depends on how hot your microwave gets, but um, I usually will heat up the water in a pot and then pour it into the cup. But Kind of wanting to be done with this. I have a lot to do today. So let's make sure it's all the way. I'm going to block that to get some of that excess water out. And then let's see. Look at that. Beautiful. I think the water was hotter this time. I think I let it kind of sit for a while last time. So this side is a little bit more crinkly. But wow, y'all. I figured the hair, I didn't know how the hair would, you know, react to this. And I didn't want a chance to like melting it or anything like that. But I, I just figured... I don't know what you know how that what was the process and the company that made the wig you know I don't um, know what their process was to actually get the hair to crinkle but look look at that that's cool looks so much better than what it was looking y'all and I've been rocking this one for months so I think am I on my two yet with this one I have to go back and look, y'all. But this, like, regardless, this is like, before I started rocking my, uh, my version Brazilian body wave hair from AliExpress, before I started rocking that hair, um, I was wearing this, like, this was like my to-go-to wig. Like, every day of the week, like, that's how much I was wearing it. Look at that, even in the back. Oh my goodness. Yeah, y'all, so I'm just showing you how to kind of bring this diva back to life. It's going to be a little damp at first when you first, um, when you first dip it. It's going to be, I might re-dip this side, y'all. I want this look right here. So I think I'm going to reheat my water and re-dip this side. And then I'll come back and show you. Just FYI, y'all, the tighter you braid, the more of a crinkle you get. And I did, I redid this one, but this front one I did a little bit bigger. So it's crinkled. This is it did okay. I could have made it a little smaller. The smaller and the more plaits you do, the tinier the crinkles will be. And I usually just do big plaits. But um yeah, I did what I wanted it to do. So look, y'all. It's like I'm wearing a totally new unit. So if you experience like the back getting bushy, this is one way that you can kind of maintain the freshness of your braided wig. See? See in the back? That's that hair that was all matted looking. I kind of ran my fingers through to detangle it before I, I braided it, you know, before I braided it up, so. 
My son is over there playing like the PS3 y'all, so excuse the background noise right now. But I just wanted to show y'all that, you know, she can live on, okay? This diva can live on. Let her survive through the fabulousness of life and get your wear, get your money's worth, okay? So she is revamped, okay? And well alive. Look at this, y'all. Okay, y'all. So this is the olive oil um, nourishing sheen spray. It provides natural, healthy sheen to dry, thirsty hair. So it's organic uh, root stimulator um, oil sheen. So I'm going to use this. I just want to show y'all. All right. Let me take this. Filling in the moisture just like I will with my natural hair. So even though this hair is synthetic, it still helps when it's not too dry. But just like that. Okay. Yeah. So hope that helps y'all. Those of y'all that were wondering about bushiness and so forth that pretty much took care of it and then also um just like when i dip my braids i um spray a little bit of that olive oil sheen on just a little you don't need to so that way you're not walking around greasy i just kind of fill in that moisture from the water while it's wet with that and to help it keep it from being so dry and uh for the waste to last longer but until i need to re-dip next time let me know what y'all think and if this works out for y'all that uh, purchased this particular unit or any uh, synthetic braided unit. I know it works for this one uh, for the most part because um, this is the one that I'm testing out. I don't know uh, what type of fibers and so forth that your other individually uh, braided wigs have. But for this particular unit, yeah, this, so basically this is the update on this beautiful unit still lasting me after all this time so hopefully me and the sister will stand strong in time y'all but i thank y'all so much for watching please subscribe and follow me on social media instagram facebook google plus all right and guess what your girl lal is gonna catch you next time holla bye bye y'all